Do pro-life people believe that every frozen embryo must be implanted and delivered? Most don't think about it. Some think IVF should be banned. Some hope the embryos will be donated to other families to carry. Others believe the mother should carry all the babies and have a big family. A lot of people don't actually understand what IVF is and how it's done, including what an embryo actually is. Pro-life people aren't a monolithic group, they have differing opinions. Some probably believe every embryo is a human, some don't. Most of them tend to be of the opinion that life begins at conception. Some, probably, generally, no. During IVF, many embryos don't even make it to the stage of being able to be frozen, much less survive the fall. Even fewer actually implant. If one makes it to the FOSS stage, there's roughly about a 40-50 chance it'll actually implant and become a real pregnancy. At least 25 of pregnancies miscarry, usually before 12 weeks because of genetic problems. That number is probably much higher, but can't be tracked BC it happens too early for a woman to even know she was pregnant, and possibly before anything implanted. People like to think these embryos are precious, but nature definitely disagrees. The life of the mother 100 should be prioritized over that of any embryo. There should always be provisions protecting the life of the mother, because she's a living, breathing human being. She shouldn't have to be septic and her future fertility damaged forever, because some pencil pusher in DC didn't understand there's zero chance an ectopic pregnancy can survive. It's impossible to move or re-implant a pregnancy once it implants with current medical science. Those cells are on a set timeline and once it's passed, that's it. People who don't understand basic biology have no business making laws that will affect the well-being of millions of people for generations to come. Some people do what is called a compassionate transfer where a leftover or defective embryo is transferred to the uterus at a point in the cycle where pregnancy is highly unlikely basically it has no chance of actually attaching to the uterine wall and becoming a baby. It helps them reconcile their pro-life beliefs. No matter their beliefs they want to impose those beliefs on every woman of childbearing age in the country. They are right and you are wrong. They see it as duty to save the poor little babies. To heck with women's lives as long as the little babies are saved. As best as I can tell, that is inherently secondary to an unspoken yet pretty clear goal of asserting control over other people. Removing bodily autonomy from women is, for many religious folks, a keystone issue upon which they believe they can further control women in line with traditional religious beliefs that would benefit from stripping from them the citizenhood and franchise they've fought for. In short, it is not a war on behalf of babies, it's a war against women. Please stop calling those hypocrites pro-life. Try pro-fetus, pro-force birth, or anti-choice. They believe whatever is most convenient for them to believe at a given time for the majority of them. It's not about the fetus's life, it's about the parent's choice, and removing it. Then they use the fetus's life as an excuse to do so. Most pro-life I know are perfectly fine with embryos frozen till the end of time, just want to punish women who abort. I know a conservative Christian family who used embryo adoption. The company itself was Christian and set up with the idea that, although the family cannot add more children to the family, the embryos cannot be destroyed. So they match them with another Christian couple who want to adopt an embryo. If you're talking about the MAGA pro-life people they just believe whatever right-wing media is presently telling them to believe. It's not consistent or logical. Right-wing media tells them they are lions and everyone else is sheep, then they're lions and everyone else is sheep. If you'd like responses from actual pro-lifers, I'd suggest asking over in the pro-life subreddit, like 95 of the answers you're getting here are just pro-choicers making up answers based on their own preconceived stereotypes. I promise we don't bite. They don't believe anything except Sky Daddy book. They have no consistent beliefs, so good luck finding an answer. I don't think they really know what they believe regarding IVF and fertilized embryos that didn't come about through natural means. They themselves don't actually know. Since that Alabama fiasco happened, so recently, I don't think the hardcore evangelicals have quite yet figured out how they are required to feel about that insane shit. I'm pro-life with exceptions. Are embryos a form of life to me? Yes. However, if they were to fall and die or be frozen until the end of time, I would be okay with this. My pro-life views come into play when the embryo changes into a baby that have nerve endings. I assume your question is related to something that was passed recently and I cannot comment on that. Every person's opinion will differ, so I think you're going to have a lot of different comments on this question.